What's up? Out my closet. We are here with a special guest and a special friend dear to my heart, Jose Roland Jr., or as I call him, JRJR. <laughs> and we have some exciting news that he's going to share with us. And let me just stop talking and say, What's up, Jay? <laughs> What's going on, Mikey? Well, thank you so much for taking the time out. You know, you've been with me from the inception of this organization even before. And I was so happy to do this interview because of what you're actually doing. So tell us what's exactly happening in about a week from now, right? Yeah, in about a week from now, so September 13th, which is next Saturday, uh, my solo show, which has been going around in the city for quite some time, was invited to go to the New York and Poets Cafe. Nice. So we're actually going to be debuting in Alphabet City next week, Saturday at 7.30, so I'm pretty excited about it. Um, we're trying to get all the press stuff going on to this week, so it's awesome. It's pretty awesome. And what does this actually mean to you that you're getting to put on this show which has to do with your culture being Boricua mm -hmm. as well as in your region right. and you're actually doing it there which is an iconic place for artists who are of that descent. Exactly. It's pretty, honestly, it's pretty sweet. Like I just, it's, it's just an amazing opportunity for me to go in there and just be able to tell my story and this particular story as well because we all know about Latino culture and how mm -hmm. when we talk about sexuality Latinos really shy away from that. It's kind of taboo. We don't really talk about that stuff. Mm -hmm. So in order to bring this piece there in a place filled with Latino artists and to be able to express that and to share that with other Latinos, it's, it's pretty awesome. So let's stop and go back and let's talk about the title first of the show, <laughs> which is really important, <laughs> right. and a little synopsis of uh, you know, what we can expect. So Father, the name of the show is Father Forgive Me For I Have Sinned, and Father Forgive Me For I Have Sinned is a coming of age story of this young boy growing up in the South Bronx. South South Bronx! South South Bronx and um, trying to identify himself in a world full of stereotypes. So, you know, his father expects him to be this type of person and yes. his mom mm -hmm. expects him to be somebody else. You know, his mom wants him to be educated and, and smart and intelligent and caring and his dad wants him to be this macho man, you know what I mean? And then play sports and all this other type. A mujeriego, what we say, mm -hmm. you, know, you know what that mm -hmm. means, right? Um, for those of you that don't know what that means, it's like a womanizer, a man who just dates many, many women. A ho. Yeah, pretty yeah, much. A, a man or a ho, exactly. <laughs> so, um, you know, this, this young boy just is trying to figure out who he is and what he is, and through the process he realizes that, you know, he's having feelings towards other guys and he doesn't know how to express it to his family. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know how to tell his family that he might be different, that he's not what they think he is. And um, there's a huge surprise at the end, which I'm not going to reveal now because I will ruin the whole thing for everybody. But and, and is this your life story or is this something you created? This is actually my life story, yes. Wow, so you're going to be very vulnerable in this moment. Extremely vulnerable. So where can we find out ticket information? You can actually that? go to my website, so joserodanjr.com. And um, on, there's a tab there that says Father Forgive Me, and that's where the show information is. And if you scroll down, you'll see all the performances, and you'll see specifically September 13th at the New York Indian Poets Cafe. And what can we expect out of this performance? Um, a lot of laughter and tears as well. So if I take you through moments of you know self-reflection and self-acceptance, and um, I introduce you to about maybe seven or eight different characters of my family. So it's pretty awesome. So I, I, I bring up my dad, my mom, uh, my aunt, who we call her Titi Bluha, she's a witch. <laughs> um, my sisters, my cousins, like there's just a lot of fun. There's music, there's dancing, there's all sorts of things. So it's here. high impact entertainment. For a full hour. One wow. full hour. Yeah. And they're serving alcohol. So that's what? what it is. Yeah. Bacardi, like, are you going to do Puerto Rico? <laughs> <laughs> Bacardi and Kobe, yeah. Right. Well, thank you so much for sharing, you know, this event that's going to be Phenomenal. I've seen it before and I'm dying to see it again because I was cracking up. It was so hilarious. You've actually seen it twice, right? I've seen it twice. Oh, that's right. Yeah. But I saw the second time was in a bridge version where you won awards for it, yes, right? Yes, did. We have. We won a bunch of awards. The first award was the Ola Award, which is the Hispanic Organization for Latino Actors. Mm -hmm. And on the second award was a Neti Award, which is a, some sort of festival that's happened here in the city. Mm -hmm. And we actually took home three awards that day. So that was wow. pretty fantastic. What were they? It was Best Actor, thank you very uh -huh. much, uh, Best Director, and Best Solo Show. So this, this guy right here is like just a, a huge ball of talent, bro. <laughs> so this is, this is going to be amazing. I'm looking forward to being there and supporting. And you guys should check it out. It's phenomenal. It has to do with, you know, his story, having to do about being Latino, and having to deal with identity things, things that, the, you know, our organization deals with young people facing 
having conflicts of self-identity, how to, you know, tell people in their lives about their special or the special. The specialness. Specialness. <laughs> well, Jose, thanks for rocking out with us. Of course. All right. Uh, we look forward to just uh, getting you behind the scenes and just a little bit of the show. And you guys should come definitely check it out. Check out his website. All right. All right. Bye, guys.